Hello, hello, and welcome back, everyone. I'm Sacred Sage, and I hope you guys are having a good day. Today, we're going to be talking about exporting environments from DAS Studios into Character Creator 4 and iClone 8. But before that, as a reminder, if this video helps you out in any way, shape, or form, consider subscribing and leaving a like or a comment. I really appreciate that. So with that out the way, let's get into it. So, as you can see, I already have my DAS booted up here. I have a model and I have the environment. I just chose this environment because it has a ton of props involved with it. So what I did was basically when I imported or <laughs> imported, when I loaded the the set into Daz, I threw it straight onto the character, right? So let's go ahead and delete that and I will load this back in and all I did was take this and drag it right in on the model I have the model selected right here I hit file export and then as you can tell I've done quite a few test runs on different ways that I can import it and I found a few different ways but the way I'm doing it and showing you guys is the best in my opinion because you can take each piece individually and rotate and move it while some of the ways it was just literally a full set and you can't move anything in the set. It was just like an OBJ. So we're going to go ahead and I will just name this pool table or pool hall right over it. Hit yes. And I just kept all the settings. So selected. Figures, props, locks, limits. I don't have any morphs, so I didn't load morphs. And the only reason the character is in this export is so that it can transfer over to Character Creator 4. If you didn't, you couldn't do it the way that I'm showing you how you can rotate and move each individual piece in the set. So that's why the model's here. So that's why she has no hair and she just has basic clothing on. All right, so I just kept all this the same as well. I hit accept and then and then we wait for it to do its thing and convert all the stuff over to FBX. Ooh, there it goes. Look at it go. And there we go. We are done. So now we are over in character creator four. I'm gonna load in a brand fresh new character. Have it all loaded in. Update the morphs. Please wait. There we go. Done. Then we're going to go to transform. CC3 plus. We're going to click on pool hall. Let's go ahead and open that up. And it's going to be importing the FBX files now, which will give it a minute. And it'll go through the same old thing like basic and advanced, you know, just like you import a character and whatnot. So. All I'm going to do is go through basically the same exact setup. You don't have to um, bake the maps and everything for the character because the character's only here because it's the way to get the environment in the way that I want it, right? So we're not going to bake any of the maps, and I'm just going to delete her as soon as we get this thing loaded up anyway, so... Loading the files. It should be popping up here in a second. With my advanced settings. And it's going to ask you a whole bunch of stuff. Just like what texture size do you want? Yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. Here it is. And you can go and move these all to 4K if you want. I'm not going to do that for this video. But... It's just the maximum size. So if there are 4K textures in that environment, it will actually use those 4K textures versus them all being a 1K texture. I'm just going to leave everything at 1K for the purposes of this video. I'm also going to uncheck the eyebrows because I don't need them. And then we will go ahead and click OK and it will get everything resizing textures and it will get loaded here momentarily it has to go through a lot of different items <laughs> so basically what is happening right now is all those items in the in the set <clears throat> that we had in Daz are actually attached to the character 
So it's almost like in like a hundred and some odd earrings, right? It's all just a uh, an accessory to the actual character. So that's why it's saying applying clothes out of 124 items. That's why. Because it's all those props. And come on. Boom. All right, so it's in. It's loaded in. So basically, you can take this. And, and, and you can rotate and move each individual item if you want. So that was the reason why we had the set attached to the model in Daz Studios. So now what we want to do is we want to ship this all over to iClone. Oop. Scene. Click our character. Shoot it over to iClone. And the reason why we're shooting it over to iClone is, is it's easier for me. I can save it in a file or whatever. And I don't have to. And I can put it in a collection. For some reason, collection don't work in Character Creator 4. Probably because it's not in that system. But now we have the character in here. So, next step. We're going to go ahead and go to our scene. Open up our character. You're going to see all the items of our set. And we are just going to sh uh, click the first one, shift, and click this one. So that has everything selected. Then we're going to go down and click on detach right here. So we're going to detach all those items. And now they are no longer attached to the character. So now we can delete our character. And our set is still here. So that is how you import a full set from Daz into iClone. But we're not finished yet. So what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete all these lights. And I'm going to shift and click down to here. And I'm going to create a new collection. And I'm just going to call it Pool Hall. Hit enter. And then we are going to save this. So we go to content. It'll probably be right here on template. We're going to click on custom and go to stages. And for some reason, I don't know why. Maybe someone else can explain it to me. I can't figure it out why. But I cannot save it to 3D scenes. You think this would be a 3D scene? It won't save it in 3D scene, but it will save in Lightroom. As you can tell, I have the pool hall already saved here. So let's go ahead and delete this file and I'll do it again so these are the two scenes I already done before we're gonna go ahead and hit save and go ahead and do pool hall and it's gonna be in the stage in Lightroom click OK it's gonna do its thing and go through the motion of saving so let's go ahead and start a new file because it would save in 3d scene but when you tried to load it nothing would load so Lightroom and then we click on the pool hall and it is indeed loading so we'll give a, a final look over and then I think that's everything. There it is. It all loaded in. You can click on this and you can rotate it each individual piece. And that is how you export a full set into iClone. I hope this helped you guys out. If it did, show some love, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.